All right, coming to you live from Las Vegas in the Spring One platform. I'm here with Sam Ramji, CEO of Cloud Foundry uh, Foundation. How are hey, you, Bart. Sam? It's great to see you again. So cool. Um, you gave a talk this morning. You let off day two, uh, and you talked about some of the momentum uh, that's been happening in Cloud Foundry. I guess you all have been around now for about a year, is that correct? Yeah, the foundation's been in existence for a year and a half. The project itself is actually quite a bit more mature. It was built at VMware starting in 2009, open sourced in 2011. So it's been open source for quite a while, and as a result of that, it's got a ton of momentum. What the foundation was designed to do is to increase the velocity of contribution of other parties coming together, both casual contributors. We had almost 2,500 uh, contributions last year from a little over 2,000 individuals that are not affiliated with the core companies that are building the software. And we had over 130 core contributors building code and doing releases every two weeks, which is a pretty significant increase. A year ago, we had, I think, about 90 contributors, or 90 core committers, I should say. So overall, the velocity is, is good. In, uh, in business speak, we'd say everything's up and to the right. Nice. Hockey stick soon to come, right? Or it is kind of hockey sticking. Well, we want to be really thoughtful because a platform is a difficult thing. Like, how many people do you want to let in to build iOS? Right. You want to be really thoughtful about keeping that well-structured because the platform has got to do so many things to enable lots and lots of applications above and lots of services below plugging into it. So I think probably the peak number of developers we want to have as core committers on the project ever might be about 200. We'd have to continue to evolve the organization structure, how we do tasks, how we prioritize roadmap in order to even get to that level. But that seems like it's achievable and worthwhile. So what drew you to the Cloud Foundry Foundation? You've had a whole bunch of, of cool jobs in your life. What was... Yeah, uh, well, I was Chief Strategy Officer at Apogee, and we focused on API platforms. And the more that I dug into customers' actual use of API platforms, the first thing they did was put in an API. The cause of it was digital transformation. They're like, I need to sell my data, I need to digitize my business. And so the API was like a facade. As soon as you had that in place, you needed a programming platform underneath to build new things and move the business forward faster with new logic. You don't want to put that logic in an API platform. So I started looking at Cloud Foundry. And in fact, I talked to uh, an old friend, Jonathan Murray, who was the chief technology and I think chief information officer at the same time at Warner Music Group. He had brought in Dave McCrory, who had a significant role in Cloud Foundry. They went all in on Cloud Foundry with their strategy. As I said, Warner Music wanted to become a platform. So they started with an API and then built out Cloud Foundry. He said, great. Now this is the most amazing structure I've ever seen. So I was blown away. I started digging in more. About a year later, I got a call saying, hey, we're putting this foundation together. We're looking for a CEO. Would you be interested? I said, that might be the most important technology in the world right now. I'm definitely interested. Very cool. So just to, to end with, what are your main goals over the next year for the foundation? The foundation's goals are pretty crisp. There's three key goals. Number one, we need to increase the diversity of contribution. So bringing in more engineers from more different companies and getting all their involvement in roadmap development prioritization. So we've got things like security and compliance that we're enhancing. We've got things around routing. We've got things around IoT. So there's a, a whole system and method of how we get the work done and plan the work. Uh, the second thing is increasing the foundation's population. So we now have about 64 members. A year from now, we'd like to have over 100, predominantly end users in those new groups. Having end users, you know, great companies like Volkswagen, Bosch, Siemens, others will attract third-party ISVs who are building applications and services to participate in that area. SAP is going to do a tremendous amount to bring an SI and an ISV ecosystem to bear on Cloud Foundry. Um, and then the third thing is really how do we continue to build a framework that will allow the foundation and the project to run for 20 years. We're in a time of great change in the cloud companies change strategy, board members come and go, how do we make sure that we build a corporation here, a nonprofit that supports all of those users through all the change that we can anticipate over the next couple decades. So, goal to really get that stronger and more stable. Awesome. Sam Ramji, thank you so much. Cool. Thank you, Martin.